You can go in, Pete. Hey, Peter. Hey, Robbie, how are you? Parker, what do you got for me? A bank heist. We don't need him. Eddie already covered that. Car chase. Robbie, put these on page six. Six? What do you think people want to see? A bank heist or a car chase? We need a headline for page one. Spider-Man assists in bank robbery. Spidey bank heist web up. You know, instead of hold up. Oh, huh, that's not bad. <sighs> you said you wanted me for something? Oh, right. I want you two to go to Oscorp and get an interview with that Osborne kid. Get him to spill about the current state of the company and how dangerous the company could be to the city. I'm already betting on nuclear war. Shouldn't we leave Harry Osborne alone for now? He's probably stressed with everything that's happened. Oh, the 18-year-old billionaire can't handle a little press scrutiny. His father died. Oh, yeah. It's your job. All you have to do is go there and take photos. Eddie here will ask all the important questions. I'd like to know what really happened with that goblin, sir. Is it really gone? Can Harry Osborne, an 18-year-old, be trusted with a billion-dollar company? Ooh, I got shivers from that. Good one. After I almost died during the Fisk Tower attack, I got to see all the shady things going on in there. Attack? Yes, attack. Spider-Man and... the other guy. Name's on the tip of my tongue. Hoffman! Yeah? What do we call the other masked guy? Captain America? No. Red. Uh, I Iron Man. No! Is it any of the Avengers? No, oh, you idiot! The guy with the red mask! Uh, Daredevil? Ah, yes, Daredevil. That's it. That's it. What do you want, Hoffman? A raise? Get out! Now, where was I? Oh, yes! Spider Man and Daredevil attacked Fisk Tower. I give him a hard time about his weight and lack of hair, but the guy has charisma. Rifle uh, Mayor, if you ask me. horrible. I was lucky to get out when I did after they did all those tests on me. Yeah, you told us before. Many times. What, are you still here? Get an interview with Osborne Arranged ASAP and get out of my office! I need to record the latest episode of my podcast. It's Ben! Get in here! I need help setting up Hard these microphones. Hard to believe I, he's I done 68 episodes and still doesn't know how to hit record. <laughs> Spidey! Hey! Hey. Hey! I just got an email from Harvard. I should be finding out in the next 48 hours. Oh, that's awesome! I'll bring over some pork chop prints to celebrate. Don't jinx it. Nah, I'm confident. I'll be ordering a burger and a box of nuggets. That's how confident I am. <laughs> what are you doing? Just in the lab. Nothing exciting. Cleaning the equipment. What about you? Currently sticking to the side of a building where a meeting is currently happening, apparently. Oh, hey, uh, by the way, speaking of Oscorp, I'll be coming over soon. Jonah wants us to have an interview with Harry. Oh, really? Are you sure it's the right time? That's what I said, but it could be a chance for me to finally talk to him, see if he's okay. Hey, you can meet Dr. Connors, too. I gotta go. What time are you coming? Uh, just waiting on Eddie to confirm it. He's still around? Sadly, the guy almost died, you know. <laughs> I'll see you later. Love you. Love you. Bye. I guess I got time to kill. What do you got for me, New York? Ah! Excuse me, can I cut in line? Uh, I just got a couple items.
photo. Get in, guys. Make sure to tag me. My purse! That's not yours. Brave of you to come here, Osborne. What are you doing here? I want answers. <laughs> I've given everything I know to the police. That's bullshit! You know who killed my father. You two are working together. Do not raise your voice at me. Like I just said, I told the cops everything I know. I can get you out of here early. I could pay for your release. Ha! You must not know much about me, kid. I could buy your family's company twice. Please. I need to know. I need to avenge my father. If I tell you, you're not going to like what you hear. Should we do this somewhere more private? Don't worry. I've got a few friends in here. Spider-Man. He and Daredevil were working together to stop me and your father that day. Daredevil? If you want more information, you could probably get it out of him. Break him. But don't kill him. He's mine. You hear me? Osborne! Thank you. Hey! You're late. Sorry. Hi, my name is Edward Brock. I'm a journalist for the Daily Bugle. We have an interview scheduled with Harry Osborne at four. Okay. Mr. Osborne isn't here at the moment, but he shouldn't be long. If you head up to his office on the top floor and wait in the waiting room, he'll see you as soon as he's available. Great, thank you. All right, I've got all the questions. All I need you to do is take a few photos. Make sure to get me in some of them. Got it? Oh, that's why I've got the camera. Got it. What the hell are you doing? I'll be two minutes. Call me when Harry's back. Two minutes. Damn it, Peter. Can I see your oh, visitor's God. pass, please? <laughs> what happened to your spidey senses? It only senses danger. That's a compliment to you. <laughs> oh, I'm honored. How'd the interview go? It hasn't happened yet. Harry's not here, apparently. Oh. Come in. Damn, this is your lab? Dr. Connor's lab, yeah. Oh, hello. Dr. Connors, this is Peter Parker. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Brocker. The pleasure is mine, Dr. Connors. I've read a lot of your stuff. Oh, thank you very much. Peter Parker, you're Richard Parker's son, right? I am. Your father was one of my closest friends in college. A good man. You know, and Gwen's told me a lot about you. Says uh, you're a bit of a science whiz. I enjoy a bit of science here and there. So, what do you do? I'm a photographer for the Daily Bugle, as all scientists do. 
<laughs> yeah. Are you planning on going to college? Uh, not right now. I've got a lot of responsibilities. Ah, well, you've got plenty of time. Gwen said you were working on some exciting stuff. Yes, or, or I, I believe so, anyways. I've been looking at a cell reconstruction, similar to reptiles who can regrow their cells on command. And as you can see, I'm quite the expert in this field. Cross-species genetics? That's right. Is that possible, do you think? I believe it's absolutely possible. If I can figure out how to use the DNA from this lizard here and integrate it into a serum that's safe enough for humans, giving anyone suffering from a degenerative disease a chance, it could change the world. Are you close? I am confident. This is the closest I've been. It just needs a bit more tweaking. That's fascinating. We'll be testing the latest equation on a rat tomorrow. You're welcome to come take a look. Yeah, I'd love to watch. Damn. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Pleasure meeting you, Mr. Parker. You too, Doctor. I'll see you later, Gwen. Interesting character. You have no idea. Sorry I'm late. No problem, Mr. Osborne. Thanks for letting us do this. Hey, Harry. Hello, Peter. I don't mean to be rude, guys, but can we get this done quickly? I've got a lot to do today. Of course. Okay if I take pictures? So obviously, the past 14 months haven't been easy for Oscorp. How are you planning to rebuild the company from the ground up, righting all the wrongs? My father taught me how to run a company, and that's what I'm going to do. That's surely going to be a difficult task. The Goblin Serum and the team up with Wilson Fisk has turned a lot of investors against the company. I promise you, this company is not in any trouble. Yes, what happened has turned some heads. However, we are still as strong as ever. We have made a profit every month since I took over. Okay. Do you think eventually investors might question how experienced or competent an 18-year-old could be in running a multi-billion dollar company? You don't think I'm competent? Go to the next question. You don't have to answer that one, Harry. No, no. I know the kind of people who run the Daily Bugle. You turn everyone's words against them. I have no doubt this article will make me and my company look bad. But I'm not incompetent. My father was a genius. He knew that one day his son would continue his legacy and take his spot. I am more than ready to run this company, and I promise you, my friend, I am more than competent. Okay, uh, uh so, uh, when, when do... I think you've got enough. Thank you for your time. All right. Pete, photo. Sorry about that, man. How you been? I've not heard from you in a while. Been busy. Shame you couldn't make it to graduation. We should celebrate one night. You, me, and Gwen. Yeah, maybe. I'm sorry I didn't speak to you much since your dad passed. Murdered. He was murdered. What? By Spider-Man. New York's great hero. Are you sure? Wilson Fisk told me. Now, Pete, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of work to do. Get Benjamin Point Dexter on the phone. <laughs> 